At another marathon meeting of the Jersey City Council, the governing body approved a new project labor agreement that will require developers to have 20% of their workforce be either women or minorities for all projects that exceed $25 million in construction costs. Prior to the discussion, Ward B. Councilman Chris Katz made a motion to table the measure, which was seconded by Ward D. Councilman Michael Yard, but the motion failed 2-6-1, with Ward C. Councilman Rich Baggiato abstaining. As was the case at last month's meeting, various members of the local branch of the NAACP spoke out against the ordinance, including Reverend Nathaniel Legge, the chapter president, and Reverend Gloria Walton. If you do not increase the amount of 23% that we ask you for, I will prefer that we ask you to vote no on this ordinance, so that you will get to the point where you can decide that you are prepared to go credit on yourself and to have a way to accept credit from outside to do the work of what is good for this city and for all of us. Maybe you can set up a future for your children, but those that have been in the war camp, they haven't been given the opportunity. And so I suggest that there be some enforcement, enough of your political rhetoric, the sick of it. No, let me call it what it is, it's lies. Another member of the Jersey City NAACP, Barbara Camacho, a lawyer by trade, spent nearly a half hour in front of the council imploring them to vote against the current measure, also demanding answers from Corporation Counsel Jeremy Farrell. Uh, you're going to see more minorities uh, at work in non women scenarios. Uh, and that's why PLAs are so important, because PLAs are how, if we use the PLA properly, and we put it on our parties, that's how we're going to get minorities and women into the union jobs, which is the ideal scenario. Uh, so it's actually very important to teach us the first issue. Yeah, the hard part is, 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 is in the structure of the PLA, the hard part, but that's what we're debating about whether it should be 20 percent or 23 percent. No, that's not what I'm but, but, but the but point is, 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 is that the Right now, I don't have the, the exact stats at, at in front of me. When the last time I looked at many reports, you know, we were hitting 5%, 4% a month. If a lot was going on, sometimes we could get to 20%. Sometimes we could get 7%. But we were mostly hitting, you know, below the digits in our, in our, in our, in our actual jobs. And so, if we can get to that 20%, that's going to be huge progress for us. And so it's really disingenuous for people to say that this does not help, that it's just not true. We're looking for it, of course not. But we have to do something. And we, I think, set a, a hard goal to achieve, but something that we hope we can achieve, something that we've gotten buy-in from many of the stakeholders that have to be part of the process to achieve it, that's progress. Of course, not everyone was against the ordinance, such as Chris Cupo of Laborers Local 3, and Pat Kelleher, the president of the Hudson County Building and Construction Trades Council. I come to you today with some statistics from Local 3. From 2014, minorities, 315,000 hours in construction. Minority apprentices, 65,000 hours worked. Okay? From those days forward, we had over 85 apprentices join the union. So, with the PLAs, we grow, and the city grows and prospers. The key, what is very important here today, we have developers and GCs putting money into the project, down on 440, and then the other office will be open at 665, training the men and women into the programs, giving them money to pay for their drug tests, their interview, which the trades that are here today go down and follow up. Despite the concerns raised after about two hours, the majority of the council believed that it was better to get the PLA approved sooner than later, especially after Pharrell said it would likely be at least a three-month delay if the ordinance was voted down today. The measure passed by a vote of 6-3, with Gadsden, Yon, and Wardy Councilwoman Candace Osborne voting no. I'm John Hydus with the Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.